Hi everyone, KNWA and Fox 24 Chief Meteorologist Dan Scoff in the Weather Center. The month of March has come to a close. Welcome to April and it appears the first week in April is going to get rather active with the potential for severe weather. In fact, the month of April, the severe weather season really kicks into high gear. That's definitely going to be the case this week. Now, this is a couple of days before the potential of severe weather returns, but I wanted to give you what the setup is and what will bring the severe weather conditions. First of all, the Storm Prediction Center. This is what we call the Day 3 Storm Outlook. Now, keep in mind, I recorded this just before midnight on Monday night, March 31st. You're going to see the new update by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, which will be the Day 2 Severe Thunderstorm Outlook, meaning for Wednesday. But this is the way it looks from the Storm Prediction Center, and I do believe this will remain intact. And there may be an upgrade to a moderate risk in spots for this yellow shaded area. The yellow shaded area that you see on the screen is what we call a slight risk of severe storms. Now slight risk does not mean the same as a slight chance that there will be severe weather. It means that a few thunderstorms will most likely be severe and with a moderate risk that means many thunderstorms will most likely be severe. So uh, that's our risk on Wednesday. And let me show you what the surface map is going to look like. We're going to have a warm front that will basically park itself in southern Missouri and southern Kansas. That will become a stationary front. We're going to have a big low pressure system at the surface that will be over the Oklahoma and Texas panhandles along with a dry line. Now a dry line is a boundary between very warm humid air that will be surging up from the Gulf of Mexico and hot dry air to the west of the dry line. Believe it or not, the temperature increases west of the dry line. Then when you get west of the cold front, the temperature will decrease. So that's the setup on Wednesday. Notice that humidity really pumping into the region and I'll show you a, a good indication of just how high the moisture content will be. Then as we move into Thursday, you'll notice that dry line and cold front starts to move a little bit closer. So the severe weather threat on Wednesday, while it's there, is a little bit uncertain as to whether thunderstorms will develop close to our area. Most likely they'll be in western Oklahoma. But on Thursday, you'll notice that dry line approaches central and eastern Oklahoma. So the thunderstorm potential looks a lot greater. But there still is a question as to timing and location and all of these fine scale details need to be ironed out. Regardless though, lots of moisture will be pumping up from the Gulf of Mexico and we will, we will have a lot of instability in place. Now, if you're one of those that looks at severe weather conditions and forecasts and you like to look at CAPE, which is called Convective Available Potential Energy, that is going to be rather high on Wednesday and Thursday. We're talking about CAPE well over 2,500 and possibly exceeding 3,000 joules of, per kilogram of CAPE. And if you don't know what CAPE is, it stands for Convective Available Potential Energy, and you need that to have thunderstorm development. That's the fuel for thunderstorms. So watch the dew points surge up from the Gulf of Mexico. Now it is going to get downright humid, sticky. You're going to feel that mugginess in the air Tuesday evening as that warm front lifts northward. Slight chance of an isolated shower. But as we move into Wednesday, these dew points increase dramatically. Mid-60s with a lot of jet stream energy, a lot of low-level wind shear. That's going to be favorable for severe weather, including all modes of severe weather as far as tornadoes, large hail, damaging winds, all of those conditions will be possible on Wednesday evening and into Thursday. Now notice Thursday, the dry line starts to march its way eastward, and that dry line is the boundary between moist and dry air, and you can see it starting to make its way eastward uh, as it continues to move along with the storm system. So the closer that dry line gets into eastern Oklahoma, the closer the thunderstorm development will be. Dew points still in the lower to middle 60s in Fayetteville and in northwest Arkansas with even upper 60s in the River Valley. Those spell some pretty significant severe weather condition potential. So I uh, notice this big low pressure system off to the west coast of the United States. Now there's lots of little individual swirls within this large low pressure system. So the computer models are having a tough time determining exactly the speed and the location and the timing of all of these little swirls that are showing up. But each one of these will bring the potential for severe weather interacting with all that gulf moisture. So on the future track, you'll notice the uh, next 24 hours, there's the rain. It's already pushed out. 
as we do tick away the time on this, all of this uh, weather conditions will lead to rapid warming during the afternoon. Tomorrow, uh, isolated chance of a shower or storm in eastern Oklahoma, possibly in northwest Arkansas, but we're not looking at many uh, deal as many rain conditions uh, for tomorrow. Not not much uh, isolated storm coverage. Now that's going to increase quite a bit on Wednesday and Thursday and we're going to keep you up to date with the latest. And by the way, the storm spotter class in Centerton that was scheduled for Thursday evening, well obviously there's a potential for severe weather and I'll probably be right inside the weather center tracking all these storms along with our storm spotters out in the field. So we are gearing up for the potential for two days of significant weather, Wednesday evening and Thursday. We're going to be watching it closely, so keep it here with your Northwest Arkansas Weather Authority, and we'll keep you advised.